Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're looking at external stability linked to the issue of foreign liabilities. This is part of the HSC Economics course, Topic 3. To start with, let's just quickly go back over the issue of external stability. So in economics, we look at external stability in terms of three things, the current account deficit, net foreign liabilities, and the Australian dollar. In this video, we're going to focus on net foreign liabilities. And as I mentioned, external stability involves these three elements, CAD, net foreign liabilities, and the Australian dollar. So if we look at external stability, we are linking it here to the issue of foreign liabilities. So one thing to think about is that countries and economies can have external stability where they can financially manage their relationships with other nations, or they can have external imbalances where there are challenges in trying to manage their relationships with other nations in terms of foreign debt, balance of payments, foreign equity, these types of issues. One way to think about or to measure Australia's external stability is to think about this question. Are Australia's financial obligations to the rest of the world at a sustainable level? So this is the key term. Are they sustainable, right? Can they be paid back or managed? And when we're talking about this term here of financial obligations, what do we mean by these? Well, we're talking about foreign debt and foreign equity. So the key question is, are Australia's financial obligations to the rest of the world at a sustainable level? So a couple of definitions before we move along. So net foreign liabilities as a whole is about Australia's financial obligations to the rest of the world minus, this is a minus sign, the rest of the world's obligations to Australia. And remember, when we're talking about financial obligations, here we're talking about, okay, foreign debt plus foreign equity. So we're looking at Australia's financial obligations to the rest of the world minus what the rest of the world owes to Australia. So we know here we can see, okay, so we've got foreign debt as part of this, and then we've got foreign equity here. If we look at foreign debt, foreign debt is all about loans, borrowing loans. So net foreign debt is the total stocks of loans owed by Australians overseas minus the total stock of loans owed by foreigners to Australians. And again, that's a minus sign. So we're looking at the net position. In terms of foreign equity, it's the total value of assets in Australia that are owned by foreigners minus the total value of foreign assets that are owned by Australians. So it's really important that you can distinguish between foreign debt and foreign equity. It's crucial. Foreign debt is about borrowing funds. With debt, the initial amount has to be repaid, and then the debt has to be serviced with interest payments. Foreign equity involves overseas investors buying Australian assets, and these investors have to be rewarded with returns such as company profits, rent, and dividends. It's very important you can distinguish between debt and equity. Foreign debt is the key part of looking at external stability and foreign liabilities. So let's have a look at what happens when foreign liabilities turn unsustainable, when external imbalances arise. So the issue with foreign debt is, is the level of debt sustainable? If the value of foreign debt is rising unsustainably, then the higher interest payments could reduce Australia's standard of living because we are seeing more and more NPY 
outflows, which could re increase the current account deficit. So we're still asking this question, are foreign liabilities sustainable? Can they be managed? In terms of trying to suss out that question, what we need to look at are things like net foreign liabilities as a percentage of GDP, net foreign debt as a percentage of GDP, and the debt servicing ratio. These are the key ways that we can assess whether the foreign liabilities are sustainable or unsustainable, whether the economy has external stability or external imbalances. 